Hi Chris, it is a day of the week and that means I'm going to try and teach you something. Now I'm just learning to do this in Final Cut, so I'm going to try and keep this short because I don't really want to screw myself up attempting to edit in a program that I don't know. But a long time ago in the English language, in Old English, we had two letters. I think there's three, but I only remember two. The F and the Thorn. And uh, they, were, they were both represented different sounds for the TH that we have. Uh, is it voiced and unvoiced? So it was TH and TH. Or th and th. And the thorn was the th in thorn, and f was th as in the. And they ended up getting sort of confused with one another over time. Uh, they. Was it the. The f looked like a backward six with a stroke through it. I'll see if I can put one on the screen. And uh, the thorn looked like a, a p with, with the bowl sort of in the middle. Uh, and. What happened was in, in printing, it was harder to do that. So when we got to, got conflated, and they both ended up being written as a Y, which is sort of interesting. Uh, so to make a long story short, because there's a lot of lot more information, I will I'll put some links in the unterba. But that's um, that's why that's what ye is uh, in in. Ye old barber shop. It's not like it doesn't mean you. It's not like oh you, <laughs> you old barber shop you. It it's it means the. It was just so people didn't have to write th. They would just do the a, a quick y, and it meant the.